Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 Dynasty Mode video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the easiest ways and how to recruit with a one star program. So, right off rip, my best advice for a one star program is first create a fake dynasty where you check out your current coach. See if your current coach has any recruiting packages to start with. That's going to go a long way as a one star program and helping you. But if you don't have any recruiting packages, you can just start with a custom coach and build them as a recruiter. My first bit of advice as a one star program is instantly go to your recruiting package if you have a current coach and see what you have. As you see, this coach starts with a halfback boost and O-line boost. Now, my best advice for your coin tokens, your coach tokens in the first year or so is allocate them to the bulk position groups. So a lot of people may think, oh, I need a quarterback, I need a running back, I need wide receiver. No. On your tokens, right off rip, focus on the bulk position groups. This is going to give you the best bang for your buck. So you're going to want to buy the blocking package. You're going to want to buy the secondary package, the linebackers, the D-line. Reason being is that if you get all four of those packages, that's the entire D-line, the entire O-line, the entire linebacking core, and the entire secondary. So it's the entire defense and the entire O-line outside of a few key skill position guys. This basically ensures that you'll be able to maximize your recruiting efforts on the majority of the recruits you're bringing in, and it'll go a long way in spreading a wider net and giving yourself more interest. So there's a few ways to do this. It's going to be a two-pronged approach. There's the week the scouting week approach and then there's that week zero approach i'm gonna go through so stay tuned for the week zero approach that is the most important but let's start with the scouting week approach so first thing you want to do is sort by prospects and you're going to want to go to this five star and go to interest see if you have any interest on any five star it's so unlikely as a one star team but you might as well try then come down to four star and see if you have any interest here as you see not a single four star is interested in coming here that's fine you're going to see in week two why that's okay or week zero i should say then you want to go to three stars and see who has interest in you. So these guys are here that have interest in you. Make sure to add them to the board. Although it's not entirely crucial that you do this, I would recommend doing it just so you use your points in week one. You're going to want to go ahead and do this for the two stars as well. I'd probably go up until about fourth interest and stop there for the purposes of this. So go ahead and use your hours. Offer them all scholarships. You, if you were to scout in week one, I'd probably just scout some of the two stars that are being unrecruited and the ones that you have some interest on and just see if you can maybe scout a gem out of them such as this, because honestly, you're going to be taking in all the three stars regardless of their rating. So you can go ahead and try to scout through some of these two stars. See if you can find a gem and that you can allocate some points to. But like I said, I think you're going to be, we're going to pretty much bring in any three or four star or five star that has interest in you. So it's not really going to matter. Although some two stars, you may actually not bring them all in. So it might be worthwhile to scout through them and use up some of your points that you do have because you don't have many, right? So you might as well use the ones you do have. So we did advance the weekend out. This is the most important part of recruiting with a small school. Obviously we got these offers in. We're seeing where we stand and seeing where we fall with some of these players. As you see, a lot of these players, we're still near the top on, which is great. But the most important thing here is now come back into this list and go to five stars. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to offer and sort by offer. Now you see right here, this five star, We there are deal breakers. Keep in mind with one star schools, but this five star has no deal breaker. He's unrecruited. This one has two offers. So I don't think we could have really a chance of this one, but that, that other five star with zero offers this is what you wanna do. You wanna play cleanup, right? You wanna play cleanup as a recruiter. In online leagues, this may work even better with some users that just don't want gem or bust. I should say the bust five stars. If they don't want those, they may let them and leave them unrecruited, which I'm seeing in my league. But overall, this guy has zero offers, which means you have no competition. You wanna start this right away after that first advance because mid season, some teams may fall out of the race for other guys and start picking up and trying to play cleanup. So you wanna be ahead of the game, right? So now four stars filter by zero offers and you want to go ahead and add every single one on this list outside of the ones that could cause a deal breaker with your five stars so just check that out add every single four star on this list and you do understand that you don't have maximum hours so you're gonna to want to prioritize a few but you can go through this way and go through it so now that we've done this you can see we have a full board towards the bottom here fours and five stars so let's start with this guy go ahead and offer him a scholarship and right off the rip give him the full 50. do not play around with the five star give him the full 50 send the house and do this for the first few four stars. If you want, you can kind of go by position on this one because you're not gonna be able to give them all the house. You do not wanna do a, a small wide net in this situation. You wanna get the four stars. That's going to give you the best class, increase your coaching packages, your recruiting classes, and bring your program prestige up. So definitely wanna make sure you secure these guys. You can go through and kind of see the uh, interest, which I would recommend. Go through and just see, is there one that's like so far ahead that if they just join you, you're out? Make sure you're doing these even ones like this. Like this Georgia one I'd stay away from because Georgia has a pretty big lead there. This one's back closer to even. And just go through until you use all of your points. If you do get to a point where you have an odd number of points left, like 25, not a full 50, you can just go ahead and give them a 25. That's fine just because you may fall out of some other ones. So you definitely want to start building up some influence on at least an extra one in case you got to pivot. Now keep in mind, this method is variable in terms of 
as the, you're going to want to be method, uh, watching this through all week because the next week someone may offer on one of those guys that we were talking about and suddenly your lead or easy buy is not there now you're wasting 50 points because georgia joined in in which case you want to then pivot to another guy that has zero offers also you want to be checking weekly because each week there may be players that lose an offer there may be players that people just aren't recruiting well on they're putting five points on a player and those can be stolen too you're going to see some teams that have one offer on a guy but they're only giving them like the dm the player package especially online and they're not really moving that's your best time to come in because that probably means that team isn't prioritizing them and probably has no more points so as you can see we are number one on the five star keep the gas going right do not stop and as you see here we kind of got lucky we already have two of those interests showing which means as soon as we're in the top five we will be able to probably go ahead and give them a hard stone. a few weeks now as you see we have a huge lead over everyone else and as it stands this free safety is most likely coming to jack state and you can see how easy this is to really just steal some five stars from some other people as a one star program that otherwise has literally no chance ever real life or virtual to get a five star I said it is important now to start monitoring week by week and make sure you are adjusting reallocating your points as you see fit because in terms of this if we just kept advancing we wouldn't have seen that he was able to get his hard sell now in this situation this is where you want to absolutely utilize the early method to get your hard sell on there by doing process elimination if you look right here there are two here in this situation that aren't going to work because now we can't do it because there's two with a question mark because we can't guess so what i would recommend in this situation is a sway where we sway them with those two into something that's beneficial for us because we do have d's everywhere now if you do look through it it may be a little tough considering uh let's see double green so swaying is going to be kind of hard here because these are c's and the other ones are d's but i'm going to go for it anyways primarily because the c's are definitely better than the d's because if you look the two ones we have are going to be c and d anyways so i think it's worth at least swaying to ensure we get a c on him and then going ahead and adding an extra 10 and then an extra five to make sure we're still recruiting the five star and you want to go through and do this for all of them just check see which ones can get it as you see this guy can go ahead and get it and you want to go ahead and take off send the house you want to add the hard sell on and especially with the guys that have the full greens you could also do process of elimination like i mentioned before it really comes just on it comes down to the prospect first four star of the rebuild so far and you see it we're just flying in top three school top three school top school commit it, it is so simple to steal the leftovers. It, it is way easier. If you were truly fighting right now with teams week by week with multiple commits, you'd see that you have no chance as we do a checkup on our five star, still far in the lead. Like I said, teams will eventually start joining and collecting, doing pickup duties as well, but they do it later in the season. And at that point, you should have gotten such a far lead that it's not a problem. Four star right there. Then we get another four star. That's two. That's three in a row now we're now we're cleaning up we're starting to finally finalize some of these commits and to continue to grow this jack state recruit class with ease as a one star see right there we committed the five star that was one of the easiest five stars i've ever gotten huge lead easy easy playing cleanup duty there that's what i'm trying to that's what i'm talking about that is how easy it is to do it and amongst these other advances we've gotten so so many other four stars and keep in mind this is with minimal effort right this is simming letting leaving it up and leaving it up in someone else's hands right the sim gods if you're actually playing you are actually winning games you are actually doing other things to increase your other team prestige factors you go through the seasons this will get increasingly easier until the point where you're just knocking out top recruiting classes as a one-star class I'm going to do a quick update with the school update here show you guys where we stand with the recruiting class with minimal effort not monitoring the week to week adding more playing more cleanup duty as we go through if you go on through down jack state is going to fall in the 46th spot with one five star and four four stars had we had we went a little bit harder and went back and reallocated those extra 300 and recap going we easily could have had over 10 four stars with the one five star because that's the only one honestly five stars you're not going to find many you're going to get one two if you're super lucky and so they may fight you on that second and or first one but right alone jack state shouldn't have no business getting anything above a three star and that's pushing it so right there you can see this is the easiest way to recruit five and four stars as a small school program remember this does apply to top tier schools as well so make sure to utilize this method across the board obviously if you're georgia you're probably looking for the best available talent not just gimmies but as a lower school, this is going to go a huge way in pro potential, increasing our classes, et cetera. So that's really great. Jack State, quite honestly, with the right effort on this first go around, probably would have fallen somewhere in this top 20 with ease at the rate that we're going. And that's with Jack State, which is one of the worst schools in the game. I hope this helped. I hope this video helped you. If it did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you need any other help with this method. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.